organized-ish. If you're new here, my name is Leela and I share quick and easy ways to help you get your home and your life organized. And today, we are going as quick and easy as we possibly can because I'm sharing five different organizing projects you can do in five minutes or less. Let's jump into it. The amount of pens and pencils and markers that we accumulate can really pile up in a house. And so a quick and easy project is to go through all of your pens and pencils and markers and just see if they work. I'm sure a lot of them probably don't and they can be thrown away. And then once you get your collection down to a manageable size where everything is functioning and in order, then you can start to organize it. Whether you prefer to keep your pens in a drawer or in a cup next to your desk or even in a special pen or pencil holder, just having them all together makes it so much less stressful when you need a pen to write with. This is also a great project to get your kids in on because they can help you test the markers and find a good placement. The next quick and easy organizing project is medicine and supplements. These seem to accumulate in random places around the house and we never can seem to find them when we need them. So by taking all of your medicine and your supplements and storing them all in one easy to access place, it's going to make finding what you need a lot easier and help cut down on expiration dates. Where you store them is totally up to you and how it functions best for your family, but my best advice is to divide them up into categories. Try to keep all of your supplements together, your allergy medications together, pain relievers. This is going to help you know exactly what you have and help you see when you're getting low on stock. While you're sorting, make sure you check all of the expiration dates and safely dispose of anything that you no longer need or use anymore. When it comes to medicine, I never recommend decanting these. They should always stay in their original package. That way you have all of the information on hand and they should also be safely stored away from children's reach. The next quick organizing project is nail polish. If you like to keep nail polish, nail tools, or even press on nails, you probably have quite a few piling up in one area in your bathroom. It takes just five minutes to go through your stash and take out anything that's old or crusty or separated or just a color that you're not going to use anymore. Once you've narrowed it down, you can put everything back in a container that makes sense for you so you can access everything and they still are stored neatly. But don't think that nail polish has to be stored in the bathroom or even your bedroom. You can buy specialty organizers for nail products that allow you to store this anywhere in your house, no matter how big or small your storage spaces are. A bag like this is portable but also protects all of the glass polish bottles and so everything is nice and safe no matter where you decide to keep it. There's really no rules when it comes to organizing and storage and if anyone tells you that something has to be stored in one specific place, it's not true. I usually paint my nails while I'm sitting on the couch watching a movie, so it just makes sense for me to keep this container inside my TV cabinet. That way I can just pull it right out, turn on a movie, and do my nails without having to drag everything out of the bathroom. But you also don't have to spend a lot of money on specialty organizers either. This container was from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 and the other little small container that I'm putting in here was also from the Dollar Tree too and it came in a pack of three. So for $2.50 I can organize all of these nail products in one place so everything is neat and tidy and together without having to break the bank and buy something that I may or may not ever use. Your budget should never hold you back from being organized because there's always an affordable alternative that you can use to get the exact same look. Remember, not everything has to look like a Pinterest photo. It just has to work for you. Our next five minute organizing project is spices and seasonings. My biggest tip is to organize all of your spices alphabetically. This makes everything really easy to find and helps you keep track of what you have and what you need more of without having to pull all the jars out and look through everything. In my own pantry, I use this riser to store all of my spices. On the top shelves, I store my general spices and that front row are all of the ones that I use most frequently. If you don't have the cabinet or shelf space to store spices, you can always keep them inside a drawer. This is how I stored them in my old house and the main reason why I ended up decanting everything into these square shaped jars, just because they sit flat in the drawer and they don't roll around. 
Now, decanting is not something that you have to do, and it definitely takes longer than five minutes, but just straightening up all of your spices and alphabetizing them is going to make such a huge difference. If you don't keep a lot of spices on hand, you probably don't need an entire shelf or an entire drawer to store them all. Instead, you can use one of these turntables inside one of your cabinets and put all of your spices around so everything is accessible. This is one of my favorite ways to organize spices in a kitchen. And last but definitely not least, Organizing the mail station is a project that you feel like would take a long time, but it's actually really fast and easy. Your goal when you're organizing a mail station is to make the area neat and tidy, but also easy to find everything you need. And the key to that is having files for each type of category. I always recommend these types of file folders for your mail and paper documents, that way everything can be found and separated. And my best advice is to have a folder for bills, reminders, and then things that need to be filed, as well as a folder for each family member in the house. Then you just set a recurring reminder in your phone calendar to go through the folders once a week. If the whole out of sight, out of mind process works for you, it's better to not store all of your mail in a basket like I had there. Instead, you can use the same file folders in a file organizer. That way everything is out in the open so you don't forget about any of it. But the real key to any mail station is just regular maintenance. When you go through it weekly, you're never going to miss a bill or forget an event again. I hope you got some good ideas for the next time you have a rainy day or just a free five minutes that you need to do something productive. If you found this video helpful, I would love for you to like and subscribe so you can get all kinds of other organizing ideas. And you can also find a huge archive of projects, tutorials, and advice on my blog at leelaburris.com.